Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Um, it is a nice, cold, chilly, rainy day here. I think it hasn't even gotten out of the 60s today, which is really weird for, you know, this time of year. It was like 80 yesterday. But anyway, I got in the mood to do some fall crafting, so I was sitting here making some of my um, garland, and I figured I may as well video some of this and show you guys how I make mine. Um, you can make all this with everything from the Dollar Tree. Um, this one I just finished. This is going on one of my shelves out in the living room. I'll try to get a picture up here somewhere. Um, of it hanging up. And um, yeah, I just finished this one up and I thought it was so cute. And this is, I think I measured this is like 30 inches long. And it cost me less than a dollar to make this because I still have a bunch of leaves left over from my bag of leaves from the Dollar Tree. And so, yeah, for under a buck, I made this for my living room shelf. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick how I make them. And they're so simple. I mean, it takes like no time at all once you get the hang of it. All you need is some jute string. They have that at the Dollar Tree. I have some of the Dollar Tree. I don't know where it is, but... I had this one open. I've got this at Walmart. Oh, I don't even know how long ago. I've used it for so many different things. Um, all you need to do is figure out how long you want it and leave yourself at least, you know, like five or six inches on the end, um, you know, so you have something that you can tie on to. And the other one I made, I made a loop in it, which I wish I hadn't. So this time I'm just going to leave an end. And I'm not sure how long I want this one yet. But we're just going to sit here and play with it for a little bit. Alright, so I'm just going to open up another bag of these leaves. And there's scissors 50 in here, but you know what? A lot of them are stuck together. So I found that I, the last bag I had at, at least 60 in there because a lot of them were just doubled up. And it was no big deal. They came right apart, you know, when you tried to glue them on. So I'm just going to mix them up here a little bit. And then I have some of these that I got. I mean, they have all different kinds at the Dollar Tree. Um, I have some of these other ones that are, you know, they have these burlapy looking ones in there. There's not too many of those in there. There's just a couple, but they have all different kinds. They have some with a little shimmer on them and whatever you want to use. I mean, you can do anything with this and decorate it, I mean, in a million different ways. So all I do with these is I just take a little hot glue and just put it across the back. And then that is my beginning. I just go from right there. I should have left that a little bit longer. No big deal. I'm just starting here. I'm telling you guys to leave it longer, and then I didn't. All right. So I'm just take it off and glue it back on. All right. There. So that's a little bit better to tie it on to something. And depending on what you're tying it on to, I mean, you know, you can leave a foot of it or more if you want. And then all I do is just take these leaves and just glue them on just kind of so they overlap a little bit. You guys see that? And then I just put them on in different directions. And well, it's kind of easier just to put it on the string and then just glue it down. I mean, there's nothing to this. And then you just keep going in whatever direction you want. And then after you get a little ways, I always flip it over. And then I'll put some on the back in different directions too. And then you want them to go the, um, I mean, there's a blank side and then there's the side with the pattern. So you kind of want the pattern to show on both sides. So you just do that one and make the leaves stick up in a little bit of a different direction. There's really no wrong way to do this. And then that completely covers up your string, so you don't see that at all. And me and my glue webs, you know I'm like a mess with these glue webs. Everybody's been giving me different ideas of ways not to get glue webs. I still get glue webs. It's no big deal. I'll just pick them up. All right, so then you're going to just keep going just right down the string in this, you know, like this, and then you have both sides. And then 
I mean, you can add whatever you want to these. On mine, I just made a little raffle bow. And you can get this at the Dollar Tree. I was really happy to see that they had the plain. And if you get these nice wide ones, you can just pull these apart and make like a whole bunch of different little ones. You don't have to. I mean, if you want it wider, that's fine too. But I always like to pull them apart. And then... Hang on, let me get together here. Alright, and then all I do is just make a loop. And just wrap it around and push it through. And then you have your little little raffia bow. So yeah, I figured this would be a great project to do today. It's absolutely miserable outside. It's cold. It's rainy. I don't want to go anywhere, so we're going to sit here and make some fall decorations. All right. So then on the end here, all I did was I glued down my little bow, like that, I grabbed me a, these are the little mini mums, um, I'll grab a bunch of them here if I can hold one, these, they're just the, well actually they're called mini daisies, but, Oh, these are the mini daisies. I grabbed the wrong ones. Anyway, they come on a bunch like this. They're the mini mums from the Dollar Tree. And I just pull it off, and then I just cut it off at the bottom. And I always like to shove some hot glue up in there to hold it together so it doesn't fall apart. And then I just glued that right underneath my bow. I mean, you can decorate this with whatever. Anything you can find. Um, and then I have some berries. These also come in from the Dollar Tree. I like these little bunches of, of berries. And then I just cut a few of those off. And normally I wouldn't even bother decorating it until it was finished, but I just want to show you guys how I do it. It's how just how easy it is. It's just so easy and they look so pretty. I'm going to try to open it up to find the center there, and then I just take these little berries and just glue them in the middle. Where did my middle go? There it is. I just glue them down there like that. And then you have your little berries, and your little bow behind it. It looks so cute. And then you just keep going until you have your, you know, as long as you want it. I mean, the sky's the limit, this thing. I mean, you can make this cover your entire house if you want to, and it probably wouldn't cost you all that much. And these are so expensive, you know, when you buy these nice decorated ones. I mean, for this one, you could, you know, they have these cute little um, scarecrows, too. I was thinking of maybe one for outside. You know, you could just pop the little stick out of him. And, oh, I pulled his bow tie off. That's all right. I'll glue that right back on him. You could just take this little guy and glue his bow tie back on that I just ripped off of the poor guy. There we go. I mean, you could just take one of these little guys and just put them on here. You know, if you wanted, you know, like a nice decoration outside, inside, anywhere. I mean, these would look really cute on there. That's just adorable. Yeah, you could do that. And I have um, these acorns that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I've got everything a mess here right now because I've just been going from one idea to another. And um, so, yeah. So, I don't know what I'm going to put on this one. I might put some acorns on this one that I'm starting now. Just for something a little different. I mean, you don't have to put them in the same bunch. I like to make, I don't know, groups of things every so often. I just think it looks really cute when it's all like in a little bunch. So I might add some acorns to this one. And this one I want to go, I think, around my um, doorway in my living room next to my TV. I think that'll look cute. And then the other one that I did just make, I'll show you that one. Hopefully I get this picture up here right. Sometimes I forget to include pictures when I say I'm going to, but I'm going to give it a shot here. Um, yeah, so that one goes around my shelf that, or my v VCR, not in VCR. Who has a VCR? Oh. 
um, I can't think, my cable box, thank you very much. It's going on that shelf by that and all my cable junk. But yeah, so they're so cute. I mean, you could just make a little one and hang it somewhere if you wanted to. Make it for on a, you could even put these on a package if you wanted to. I mean, anything. They're just so pretty and they're so easy and you can make a ton of these. I mean, it's just so fast and easy and I was just so happy that they came out so cute. Because I wasn't sure at first and I start playing around with things just to see how they're going to look. Oh, and the other thing, hang on, let me get to see, here's another one that's doubled. Well, actually, let me glue it down, it's easier to get off. Yeah, there's quite a few of these that were doubled, and I just can't, um, you can't tell. You can kind of feel that they're really thick. There it goes, see? So that's how you end up with a lot more in a bag than you think you have sometimes. Um, after you get it all done, that's what I wanted to tell you guys, is, you know, you don't want it to be perfectly flat like it is right now, so all you have to do with these is just take them and take them in your hands and just squish them. I mean, really squish them, because let me tell you, once these are glued on to the, um, the string, it really holds well. It doesn't come off. I mean, you can't even pull these off without ripping them. But if you just take them in between your hands and just go back and forth and squish them, then it kind of ruffles them up so they look, you know, not so flat. So anyway, that is what I'm working on here this afternoon. I'm going to go back to working on my one that's going to be going around my doorway. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this idea. And you guys can make up some of your own however you want and decorate them however you want. There's just... A million different ways to do it. So I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching, everybody.